All right, all right. What's going on, party people? This is your man, Grill. Hey, first, I want to say thanks to all of the subscribers, all of the viewers, all of the members for your support, for you just clicking the like button, sharing, commenting. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate y'all. Um, I love reading your comments, um, interacting with y'all, and it is just amazing the support that I have and y'all have given this channel and the love that you've given this channel. So I and my family, we do appreciate it. Y'all are just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So to get straight into this video, um, the title might have, well, the title says it all, <laughs> okay? Just as the little scrolling marquee here, I got to figure this thing out one day, <laughs> the pointing thing. But <clears throat> the scrolling marquee, as it says, your value is in your how, not your why, which I probably should have titled it that. But your value is in your how and not your why. Why is the, your value in the how and not the why? Because people pay you only, as I said, for your how, meaning they pay you because you know how to do something. When you can show them that you know how to do something, then they're confident to pay you. They'll be more confident and secure in paying you because they have confidence in your ability to get the job done. Nobody cares why you're even doing it. See, the why, as I've all, as I say over and over again, is for you. The how is for them. <coughs> the why is for you. The how is for who? Them. And why do they need the how? Because that's what they're paying for. They're paying for the how. They're paying for you to do something for them. They're paying you as an English tutor to teach them how to speak English. They don't care why you're passionate about being an English teacher or just teaching in general, but they want to know, do you, can, do you know how to teach me English? Do you know how to teach me Spanish? Do you know how to do the thing that I'm willing to impart financial resources into your life for. Do you know how to do that? If the answer is yes, I mean, no, then guess what? <laughs> I was supposed to say yes and my head was saying no. I don't know what happened there. But <laughs> if your answer is no, then guess what? You Who's going to pay you for you telling them, I don't know how to do this? Okay, well, thank you very much. I'm on. But if the answer is yes, here you go. Now you just have to perform. And this is the biggest problem that we have right now in the notary business is that so many people are hopping into Facebook, Clubhouse, and some everywhere else. And they're constantly asking, how? They're not asking why. <clears throat> Excuse me. As I showed people the other day, how to use chat GPT, chat GPT on how to find the answers to questions, not why you're doing being a notary, not why you're an entrepreneur. You want to know the how. And when you can master the how, you can brag about your why all day long because your why only motivates and inspires and impresses those people who aren't paying you. Now, this is from a business standpoint. Can you have a why that can motivate you and move you? Yes. People who are injured, um, trying to learn to walk again or read after they've had, you know, some kind of traumatic injury or learning how to write. That why is driving them. But again, the why is for who? Them. It's not for you. Okay. The why is for them. Their why is because at one point they knew how to write, right? They knew how to talk. They knew how to um, walk, talk, and write. They knew how to do certain things, and they want to get back to that. So the how is there. They're just trying to get their body to work with them on the how. But the why, that's within. The why is for you. And you can brag about all your whys all you want. 
but everybody wants to know, do you know how? And when you master that, and I've said, like I said a few moments ago, when you master the, the how, your earning potential is off the charts. Your influence is off the chart. Everything that you want can be off the chart if you know how. If you don't know how, then you're no good to anybody. Sir, doctor, they told me I need a triple drop bypass heart surgery. Can you do that? No, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> doctor, I need a triple bypass heart surgery. Do you know how to do that? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, cool. Let's go. Save my life. This is what I'm talking about. When you can accept that you may not know completely how to do something, but it's imperative that you learn how, you just set yourself free and you separated yourself from the rest of the people because we already know that most of the people out here are more interested in the why and not the how. My success has come from me and my how, not the why. I don't even really talk about my why. I know why I do what I do, but what's important is do I know how? And I'm saying this over and over again in many different ways, many different angles and stuff. So, um, do you know how? When you know how, can't nobody stop you. Because if something happens, and see, the how is the foundation for your business success and growth. When you know how to do something, so you know how to bake bread. But the bank said they're not going to loan you any money. And because you know how to bake bread, you can say, you know what? I'm going to bake three times as much bread and I'm going to sell it on the, I'm going to have somebody go sell it on the other side of town because nobody is selling bread as good as mine on that side of town. So I'm going to take my extra bread and I'm going to sell it over there on the other side of town and I'm going to raise the money for what I need that way since the bank won't get me, give it to me. But see, when you go to the bank asking for a loan and you already don't know how to do what it is you're supposed to be doing in business and you have no other skills of how you're at the mercy of the bank. The bank got you. They got you. Bam. They got you locked down because you can't go out and make money on your own because you don't know how. That's why I always talk about making money with your notary stamp. When you can learn how to make money with your notary stamp, you're golden. So it is, let's go back over it again. You only get paid. You only get paid for your how and not your why. The why is for you. The how is for them. It's that simple. Now, I want to hear your comments about this and tell me what you think about what I'm saying. And yes, I'm sure somebody can take the time out and tear, and tear apart what I'm saying and come up with a different angle. But my angle is primarily as a business owner. Do you have the how down pack? If you got the how together, you can brag about the why when you're in a barbershop, beauty salon, grocery store, wherever. You can walk up to some stranger and say, hey, let me tell you why I do what I do. <laughs> when you tell somebody, hey, here's a way to make money. Here's how you can pay off your mortgage in 10 years instead of 30. Without adding any extra payments. They, t they tell you that, you know, they might say something like that. And the first thing you said, how? How? And the only time you ask people why is when you think there's going to be a loss in your life. Why would I do that? Why would I give my money to that? Why would I listen to you? Because I feel I'm going to lose something in my life. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. This is lose something out of my life that I did, that I had before I met you. 
So why would I submit to you? Why would I give in to you? Why, why, why? Now, I know how to submit to you and follow your instructions, but you need to tell me why. That's when the why comes in. When people are trying to get money out of you, you want to know from them why. You want to know why I got to give you this money. Because you said, you showed me how, but tell me why should I trust you? You see what I'm saying? That's when the why can come in. But for the most part, when it's you trying to do this business or any business, you got to know how. And when you know how and somebody asks you your why, then you can tell them the why and you can back it up with the fact that you know how. But when you can't back it up with the how, they don't care about your why. And I think y'all understand that. If you do, great. If you don't, we can work with it. We can figure out to help you to understand this, all right? So I just wanted to share that with y'all. That's just been something that's been laid on my heart, been heavy on my heart, to be honest with you, because so many notaries are out here focusing on focusing on the how, I mean, the why, and don't know how to do anything of significance as far as their role as a notary. And that's what's hurting y'all. So thank y'all very much. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Like, share, comment. I'll see you on the next one.